Hello guys, welcome to Fast Technics YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to perform how to install MySQL 8 on Ubuntu 18.04. Here you can see that I have installed Ubuntu 18.04 on my system. Okay. Now first download the MySQL apt package from the MySQL official site. Okay, here we have downloaded the latest MySQL 8 app packages from the MySQL official site. Next, install the app packages on this system. Okay, this command is dpkg -i then apt package name then press enter okay it will ask for to install the packages click on ok button and here we are installing mysql 8.0 okay now update the system packages okay we have downloaded the latest mysql 8 app packages on our system next install the mysql 8 on ubuntu 18.04 okay here we have Okay. It, it is asking for to set the root password okay here I'm entering the root password then confirm the same same root password So it is asking for the in MySQL 8 they have added the new feature to new password authentication mechanism. So here click on OK button. Okay. So here it is asking for to use the password mechanism. So here you can select the password authentication which which you want to use you can select uh, old mysql password mechanism okay here i am in selecting the recommended option It is installing the all the MySQL 8 packages.
okay we have installed the mysql 8 on ubuntu 18.0 let's check the mysql service is running or not Here you can see that MySQL service is running on and, and MySQL 8 is installed. Now next let's secure the MySQL server. using the the command is mysql secure installation okay it is asking for the root password we have set while installing the mysql server okay so next uh, mysql added the new patch features for the password authentication plugin okay if you want to set then press y okay also here it's asking for the to set the password mechanism okay here i am selecting the medium option Next, it is asking for the strength of password. Okay. It is asking for the to change the root password. Okay. So already I have entered the root password. So I don't want to change the root password. Then press no. So next it is asking for the to remove the anonymous user. If you want to remove then press Y. Here I am removing the anonymous users. Okay. Next it is asking for the to disallow root login root login remotely means so from the outside anyone can't access using the root user. If you want to disallow type y okay so when the mysql installs it creates some test databases if you want to remove type y otherwise type n yeah. so here i am removing the test databases okay so finally it is asking for the to apply the changes okay let's reload the our changes okay so we have secured the mysql server now next create a user in mysql Eight server so let's log in to the mysql using the root password okay command is the mysql hyphen u u means user and username is root and hyphen p means password enter it is ask for password we have set while installing the mysql server okay we have logged into the mysql 8 server here you can see that we have installed the mysql 8.0.19 mysql community server now let's create a 
one MySQL user in MySQL 8 server. And the command is create user and my username is post techniques and password I am setting it is post techniques at the rate one two three. Okay, we have shared the strong password mechanism. So let's change the password. Let's keep the strong password. next to allow to access database to user so here I'm, i am allowing all database access to the force techniques user and the command is grant our privilege on here dot means all databases and the user name is force techniques and percentage means all uh, he can access using from any other server here you can add the localhost also localhost means only the system those user I have created in this system only okay okay now reload the privileges okay the command is first privilege to take effect okay we have created user in mysql 8 server So exit from the root user and let's log in from the user which created now so command is mysql hyphen u is a user and the username is post techniques and hyphen okay and the password we have set okay so we have successfully logged into the other user let's see the databases in mysql 8 user and the command is show databases okay so here you can see that list of databases to exit from the mysql prompt type exit okay next if you want to enable the mysql remote access means if you want to suppose you have the application node on other vm and database on other vm if you want to access your mysql database from the application node then you have to allow allow the remote access in mysql config file okay 
MySQL config file located in cd etc mysql mysql conf.d directory and the config file name is mysqld.cnf let's open this file Let's add the bind address. Okay, means from other from other applications. So any applications or any VM can access your databases from the user we have created now. So those you are those user you have to share to the development team, team or you have to add the in app configuration file while connecting to this mysql server press ctrl x to save okay now to take effect let's restart the mysql server The command is sudo systemctl restart mysql dot surface. Okay, we have started mysql at server. Let's check server is running or not. The command is system ctl status mysql dot service okay here you can see that mysql is running successfully so let's enable the mysql service at system startup means whenever you will start the system so mysql will not start automatically so then you have to enable the mysql service so whenever you will restart the VM our system so MySQL automatically will start and the command is sudo systemctl enable MySQL dot service okay. so if you are logging from using the root user you do you don't have to end type sudo okay here I have login using the user user Okay, now we, we have enabled the MySQL service. Okay, whenever you restart this server, so MySQL service automatically will start. So we have covered the downloading the MySQL app packages from the MySQL official site. Then we have installed the MySQL service, secure the MySQL server created mysql user and and we have changed the bind ip address in mysql 8 server so thanks guys guys watching for this video all command i have mentioned in this video description